Buck a diddle day. Hi. Bet that's what he said when he was nabbed. When who got nabbed? Have you not heard? Do you know your man? Flop of hair, English. He's all fuck a diddle this, fuck a diddle that. He's flat out going to weddings with his mates until one of them, the fat bearded one, the scared, until he crooks it and they're all, we need to show this man a bit of respect here, let's stop all the clocks. He goes here, woman. Do you know her? She's a total ride, but she paper clips her frocks together. Well, he was caught getting down and dirty with some hooker in the back of his BMW. <laughs> Dark horse or what? Good morning, Michelle. I am buzzing for this weekend. Them waterproof treasures do wonders for my whole. These prods have some serious moves up their sleeves, you know. They're not as fucked up about sex as we are. They've put the work in. They know what they're doing. <sighs> they're people, Michelle. They're not the sex toys. I beg to differ. I'm gonna keep mine on my bed, for I sleep, in my knickers. Be sexy, okay? Sexy, right. <clears throat> I said be sexy, not be a fucking bluefish, Erin. Hello, May. We heard you boys are having a party. No. We are now. Uh Do you want to go somewhere a bit more private? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Why not? What the fuck's that? He's wearing a purity bracelet. What does that mean? No, down below action. That's what it fucking means. We have to swap. Swap? Yeah, we'll just swap over. You take Harry, I'll take Lee. Dee. Whatever. We can't do that. Why not? You fancied him first, and your lack of moves won't be an issue. That is true. OK, if we're going to do this, Michelle, we need to do it delicately. Of course. Oi, lads! We want to swap. Brilliant. Swap? Yeah, Aaron's going to have Harry now, and I'm going to have you, all right? Great stuff. What's in the suitcase, Michelle? Vodka. You brought an entire suitcase full of vodka. No. There's mixers as well, not a savage. You can mix foggy with cider, right? Oh, Don't blame me, blame the monk tree, man. This is really serious, Michelle. People have gone to jail for this. Why is this place so mental? That's enough, James. You have serious fucking anger management issues. Do you know that? We need a better plan, Michelle. This is a great plan. We cannot walk to Belfast. How far could it be? Have you ever seen Northern Ireland on a map? It's fucking tiny. You have no trouble from us, Mary? OK, girl, who wants to do drugs? Me. I'm sorry. Nothing heavy, just a bottle of blow. Where are you planning on getting a bottle of blow from, Michelle? Too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. Right. Well, you know Maka. I can't say I do. Hey, Maka, back Maka. Come on, everybody knows Maka. We don't. Why stop, Maka? Maka. 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 That's not helping, Michelle. Maka. Tall fella. Dark hair. Wonky nose from when he's through the bare-knuckle boxing. Look, he's loads of tattoos. Big scar under his left eye. He was kicked out of Craigan for joyriding. Look, he sounds delightful. He really does. He said he could hook us up. Class or what? I'm not sure. Well, I am. It's not happening. Drugs are for mugs, folks. Congratulations, Claire. That might be the dickiest sentence that anyone's ever said. Come on, Michelle. What makes you think you can trust this Macca person? Well, it's not English for a start, so... James has a point. Oh, no, he doesn't. What if he gives us dodgy gear? Dodgy gear? What is this, the bell? I cannot believe you're even discussing it. Let's love a little for fuck's sake. I want no part of this. And if you guys decide to go through with it, then I'm sorry, but any friendship we have is over! Walk the boat! It's walk the boat! Happy fucking day! <laughs> it really makes you think, doesn't it? Death. Just, just makes you want to do everything and just like, try everything. What's going on, Michelle? Do you want to say something, class? What is it? Prepare yourself, girls. <sighs> scones. That's right. What's so class about scones? Scones are lovely. I, I like scones. No, these aren't any old scones, girls. These are funny scones. Ah, they do look like a crack, in fairness. Funny scones. They're jug scones! She's put the jugs in the scones! Too fucking right, I have. I wanted to do brownies, but this was the only recipe my man had, so... We talked about this, Michelle. We agreed. No, we didn't. In a way. Drugs aren't illegal when you put them under food. Everybody knows that. Is that right? I'm not sure that's right. Any cups up here? I'll take that. What the fuck just happened?
happened? Did he not know? Apparently Jamie's hired this fucking pensioner band. Christ, really? I heard the drummer is at least 30. I don't feel so bad about missing it now. It clashes with my thing. The creep convention, seriously? It's not a creep convention. Well, I think a lot of perverts getting together to wank over some fella who fights with hoovers and rides aliens in a telephone box is the very fucking definition of a creep convention. It's a Doctor Who night. Me and my stepdad used to watch it when I was little. Well, someone should have called social services then, James. You're not going to the prom then, James. Well, I was going to ask you to be my date. I'm sorry, Claire. You were going to ask James to be your date? What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, it's a bit more complicated for me. You're a lesbian, Claire, not desperate. She has no respect for herself. And coming from me. That is bad. Exactly. I swipe the mask credit card. Is that grand or is it actually a criminal offence? Look, we'll just whack a couple of dresses on it, don't take the labels off, wear them to prom, then return them the next day. The money will be back in our account as quick as it went out. <laughs> no way, Jose! It's totally grand, Claire. I do it all the time. You just have to make sure that you don't, like, spill anything on it or, like, Sweat. This doesn't do my babs any justice. Have you decided who you're bringing yet? Well, I've not done it too. There's big Johnny Kelsey who works in Duns. Thick as fuck, but a massive, massive ride. Then there's this other fella. He's not as thick, but he's also not as hot. Although I have heard he is really good with his hands. And when I say he's good with his hands, I'm not talking about putting up shelves, girls. I'm talking Everybody about... Everybody knows what you're talking about, Michelle. Fingering? Honestly. You look hot. Thank you. No, I mean, like, actually hot, like, physically hot. You better not be sweating in that dress, Claire. They won't give me a refund if there's a whiff of it. I'm not sweating. Let me check. Get off me. <laughs> Christ, they want me what's in, trying to keep them two lads apart. What? You don't break both boys to prom, did you, Michelle? I couldn't make up my mind. I thought I could just stick them in two separate corners and go between them, but they won't fucking keep put. Imagine that. It's almost like they have their own free will. Tell me about it. It's a fucking nightmare. 